Hi, Ben. Hi. I'm Herb Riker. Uh, I'm from Stereophile. I just got my badge. We're at the New York Audio Show. It's not fest. It's show. New York Audio Show. But dang, I must have given them the wrong info. They spelled my name A-R-T. It's E-R-T. It means rich heart. Anyhow, let's go see what's going on. Fancy lobby. Uptown, we're at Central Park South, Park Lane Hotel. It looks fabulous out in front, but it's too damn cold to go out there now. It's like three degrees or something like that. Hey, I'm good. Hey, man. How are you How doing? How is that? Uh, uh, hey, Jenna. Look at this. Hi. We're a small world. You can't Hi. even make it. This is David and Sandy. Hi. And uh, look, they spelled my name wrong. We're here to hear. They couldn't even find my. Tag. No, they couldn't <laughs> find mine either. It was kind of, you know, it's New York. You know, it's Union. You gotta have a hundred dollar bill in a bucket or something. You know, it's so gotta be like that. you already? No, but look. Do you know what these are? Plastic these are payas. <laughs> plastic payas. These are Sony. I believe they're lavalier mics, right? And they're. We've got them set up. I'm gonna go to everybody's room. David doesn't have any sound in his room, probably, but. And I'm going to listen, and I'm going to share that listening with you guys. And the idea, if it all works well, is that you'll be able, if I can hold my head still enough, you'll be able to hear what I heard. Sounds like fun. Uh, Let's keep rolling. If you get, we can get stuck later. in the lobby. Look, AVM Audio, they're from Germany. Fidelis sounds like they're from Germany, but they're from... Uh, New England, and then Triode Wired Labs, they're from Long Island. We're going to go in, I think they have the Harvest, driven by AVM amps, the Harvest 30.2's anniversary. Let's go find Walter, Pete, and Pete. Oh my god, it's Walter, Pete, and Pete. Hello. <laughs> welcome her. How are you? Welcome, uh, welcome to you. Hey, I'm happy to, to be here. Happy to be here. Great to see you. Three parts of the world, Long Island, uh, yeah. New England and Germany. Yes, sir. And we're here. There's the new Harvest Anniversaries. Uh, I don't remember the name of this finish. This but is uh, called Silver Eucalyptus. It's only in the 40th anniversary version. Ah. It's a very special finish. And these stands are from Tone... Tone Traeger. They're in Germany as well. In Germany by a beautiful young woman who's a real craftsman. Totally. Lives near a castle, if she I She lives remember. near the famous Disney castle. Oh, it's that castle. That castle. That's I forget castle. the name Rapunzel of it. Rapunzel Castle. It's the Mad, the Mad King's Castle. Oh, we that. Yeah. Uh, and turntable from Germany. Yeah, this is also from Germany, Precision. It's the uh, acoustic signature Triple X, which uh, the Look whole package is under 8,000 wood. Dollars. Unbelievable. Actually. That's kind of the coolest wood I've seen it, personally. Yep. So. Anyway. Brushed metal from Germany. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's some Neil Young in there somewhere. He's in there. Yes. I can hear him. He's in the box. Neil is in the box. Yes. He's out of the box now. That's the whole idea. You pay extra to get him out of the box. Even though, I swear to God, if you guys ever if you step back, I swear, even the most expensive hi-fi still sounds like table radio at the end of the day, man. Uh, even when it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so we're here on a mission. We want to listen. And we want to listen so I can hear. And I brought the shtick. Okay. And the shtick is from my boss. It's from John. See, it says 10 on it. It's a 10 shtick. And it has some recordings that... Mr. John Atkinson made. Perfect. And if you guys would be kind enough, I'd like to hear a little. I love it too. Thank you. Thank you.
just came out of the AVM room listening to the Harvests and uh, seeing some of my old friends. But I wanted to talk to you about the sound. So I'm going to review the Harvests and I'm a big fan. My friends all call them oh, pipe and slipper speakers and they think of them as warm and soft British old school boxes. But they, this room proves that they're chameleon-like. They have these German AVM electronics. And they actually sound kind of cool, maybe detached even. They're not their normal, embracing, warm, British, you know, um, bloodhound laying on the floor next to you sound. They're kind of like crisp. I found them a little cool, but clearly, whatever amps they use, they reflect that, and that was the way it was today. It was really nice. I look forward to hearing them in my own home with my own group of amps. So I saw on Facebook you showed a, 19, a picture of a 1947 turntable with a record clamp, a right, record weight. Right, so here it is. It's from a movie called Something in the Wind with Deanna Durbin, and she sings the turntable song. The turntable song. And here she is, and look, this record player has a clamp on it. She's like some kind of audiophile in 1947. What's that? Well, <laughs> they used to debate stranded versus solid cord wire all the way through the 60s, so, you know. And they were only listening to triode tubes. So. Yeah, so it goes around over there you and go. over and over, around and around. There you go. Thank you, Michael. I'm going to discover linear tube audio, if I can find it, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. Are you going to linear tube as well? I was going that too. Let's do it together. Okay. What's the argument against it? That's my spiritual mantra. Off to you, my story. Thank you. 
We just left the linear two audio room, and I happened, I got lucky. I came in, and there was Sasha Matson and John Atkinson, and we we listened to Sasha Matson's tight lines. He composed it, John produced it, and did much most of the engineering. No, 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 just production. Production, <laughs> sorry. And uh, so these two, I'm not even going to talk about what I heard. These guys, they were there. They made this happen. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about it. What did you think, John? Well, I, I'd heard about, the, I knew about the Revan speakers because Art Dudley is a big fan of them. Um, they use a single um, drive unit, rear loaded horn, as far as I know. Um, so I, I knew of the speakers beforehand. I knew of the linear tube audios, amplifiers from Herb's experience with them. So I wasn't sure, qu I, I had some idea of what to expect. Um, I knew of the recording intimately, it was Berkeley Hills, uh, Sasha's piece. There was a richness to the sound, but there was also, from where I was sitting off axis, there was not a lot of top octave energy, and the imaging was pretty good. Um, I thought the mid-range was more coloured than I'm used to from listening on, on, on my system, Sasha. Uh, yes, I pretty I can second that. I think there was a little, what I would call, a little thickness in the lower mids a uh, that, here, that, yeah. uh, that jumped out at me. Remember, these shows are an illusion. They're pretend listening environments <laughs> set up for a couple days under very adverse conditions. I thought they were very interesting speakers and I'd like to hear them further. Um, and what the th I, there were things I definitely liked about it. There was a, a nice musical tactile feel, but there was also some thickness that bothered me a little. And that's what I think. Yeah, there was, I, I, I'm not familiar with the speakers, but there was something I thought a little strange. Somewhere around 200 cycles. Yeah. I'm not sure. Art the, says the they have good up. reproduction of force, whatever. What he something yeah. he's very very sensitive to. I, I noticed more, that. Yeah, I'm more bothered by coloration, and as I said, I was sitting way off axis, so. You know, I know the recording really well. Thank you. Ever since it came out. I guess, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I love the recording. I think I wrote about it. You but did. I will thank write you. more. And uh, <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to bring the LP. And I have room. to add, this was none of this was planned. We just ran into each other in this room and we're reacting in real time. So there it is. Yeah. All right. Do you believe we ran into Sasha and John in that room? Man, that was like, I'm glad. I didn't even have to think. I just had to be the dummy head, and they had to think. Let's go find another room. I'm thinking of audio numbers. They should be friendly. I used to work with them. I was in a Oh my God! Oh my gosh! Oh no, it's you again! Right? Rumor has it you're mad at him. I am mad at him. He didn't bring me to lunch. That's a good point. I thought you were going to invite me to lunch. I was feeling bad because I didn't have a lunch invite. Why are you saying out of your way? That's all I'm doing. No, you got to be in it. You know, base notes are right. Yeah. You're near the end of the line. You tell Cummins that they don't want to listen to audio now with me. Audio I never heard of. Well, I'll tell you all about it. Audio notes. Audio notes. They're from the UK. Yeah. All right. What do you think? You lead the way. All right. Where we going? There they go. Nice chatting with you. Best thing about this show is it's hard to get lost. Really? There's only three or four. Wow. This is exciting. Audio note UK. Uh oh. I guess it's there. Piano music. It sounds like a piano. The secret of audio note is piano music, even if it's an old yeah, electric yeah. recording. It sounds like there's a piano in the room. Is there a piano in there? <laughs> I wish. Look, as you come in, notice, Steve, notice how they put the speakers. They put the speakers in the corner. Ooh, corner loaded. No more I'll break in young girls house. I like this very bad than the other one. What's the other one? Michael Jackson. Oh. 
all the recordings are done live in the in the uh, record studio in the studio on the radio on the radio. On the radio. Yeah. It's a whole series. God, I look at myself in the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> the dorky <laughs> dummy. Okay. So this is Andy from Audio Note, and uh, hi. He's uh, the jack of all trades in the UK. He's going to explain the bits, as they say. Yeah, we'll take you through the system. That made this happen. Yep. And if you'll be kind enough okay, to do this that. Okay. This is brief enough. So this is the uh, Audio Note TT2 Deluxe. This is the high gloss black finish. We've got an external power supply. This there's an option oh, for an upgrade wow. for an external power supply to improve the sound quality. Mounted on the turntable, we've got an arm three. This is the Audino arm three, which is a silver wire with a VX silver internet internet cable. Mm -hmm. we've got an IO one moving coil cartridge, so entry level moving coil. This is going up into an Audino S8 step up. This is a silver wire step up. Transformer. That's an S8. S8, yes. Oh, okay, yes, indeed. And then actually, this is pointed backwards because we couldn't fit on the table. We've got an R0, which is the phono stage. I was wondering. System. You were wondering what that was, okay? Oh, no, I was wondering well, where it was. <laughs> where it was. And okay, and this is. Sitting over there, you can't, you can't see, see those it. No, things. That's a good though. idea. And then we're, we're just using today the Otto Phono SC uh, signature integrated amplifier. Ah. Okay. And then plugged into that, we've got the uh, CD3.1X. Wow, it's changed. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. It's not too much. And the speakers. And then the speakers, these are the Type E's. We do a, a, a number of versions of the Type E speaker, but this is the ELX, which is the copper wired version. It's the HE version, which uses the high efficiency magnet, which has a silver voice coil. Okay, and then it's got an external crossover. This is a signature crossover. So the crossover is outside the cabinet to remove it from the vibration and the magnetic interface of the driving. Could you explain briefly why they're in the corner? Okay, so the box alignment... Which is unusual yeah, in these shows? Yeah, the box alignment is, uh, when you do the base alignment, uh, it's allowed to, it's counted for the walls, okay? Because obviously you get some base reinforcement. But also it enables us to drive the room from the end, so you pressurise the room. The whole room. The whole room, okay? So you get a continuous... You get a continuous sound wave, okay? If you put the speaker here, you get some interference on the back, you get some interference on the side. So it's kind of like almost a semi-horn loading the speaker straight into the room, and you get a better coupling effect. And or these even are infinite these are baffle. Yeah, similar, yeah. It's almost like an infinite baffle. And these are very high, 96 dB sensitivity, oh. and the valve amplifier is about sort of 10, 12 watts. Just connect. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now you've heard audio note a bunch before, many, even in my house. Many, many, many times. Not those speakers. Not those speakers. I've mean, heard these speakers that shows the ease. Which you remind me of the Snellies, of course. Of course. Which I go they call them monkey coffers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the classic, and they're stuck in corners. Yeah. Which kind of Quasi does load the whole room. Yeah. And, cut. And, and it's repeated. Like if you put that speaker in any corner in any room, you'll achieve the same. No, that's the beauty of it. That's the real That is the beauty. I mean, not all rooms have corners. Right. Well, but yeah. But it's a yeah. normal yeah. living room size, you know, New right. York. That's New York. what you yeah. yeah. What do you think of the shop? I think it's really good. Three, three pieces driving the whole right. thing. Right. That first tra the first track that he was playing when we went there, the Billy Jean, the Michael Jackson. Right. Right. That was so good. Oh, I'm glad Usually you like it. Usually the only place classical, which is good, but to hear that was changing. Least, Peter's now famous for playing heavy metal as well. Oh, yeah, I, He'll switch yeah. from like... You know, 1903 wire recording of some piano to like, you know, nine inch nails <laughs> well, at high volume. Fantastic. But yeah. you can't beat it as a concept no. either. And it, it felt good. So you felt good. Oh, good. That's, me too. I felt the same way. It was yeah. nice to see Peter. It was nice to be in the room. Yeah. And I remember, yeah. The way the sound, the, the energy in the room is always good with us. It seems so relaxed. Yeah. And I'm listening to speakers nine out of ten times out of the room. I'm hearing those tweeters trying to try their best to make noise. And I feel like the speakers are, are like working hard. Mm -hmm. It seems so effortless. Yeah. It's really relaxed. Yeah. It's a weirdly un audiophile presentation. Absolutely. Yeah.
which brings us to, did you notice any imaging things from them being stuck in the corners and big, big wide baffles? I guess it was a good sign. I wasn't thinking about it. You know, good. That's a good sign. That's my feeling too. Cool. All right. I took it. On to the next room.